Well, I think the role of Veneta clocks might expand over time. Uh, of course, it, Veneta clocks in combination with CD20 antibodies is approved in frontline therapy of uh, CLL and in therapy of relapsed CLL. Um, it's also approved as a single agent for uh, deletion 17 PCLL. So, um, 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 uh, as, as more agents are being developed, um, uh, Veneta Clux is a great partner. Um, so, as you know, there are multiple studies ongoing which investigate the combination of uh, Veneta Clux with BTK inhibitors, for example, um, uh, Zanubrutinib, Pakalabrutinib, Ibrutinib, of course. The Captivate study probably has the best follow up so far, which is Ibrutinib plus uh, Veneta Clux. It's still ongoing. And that's an MRD tailored study, by the way. Um, uh, then there is um, a, a MAGIC trial, which is really interesting, which uh, investigates. Investigates a randomized in a randomized fashion, acalabrutinib veneta clax versus veneta clax abinutuzumab. So I think um, uh, one of the big futures of veneta clax is in combination with other targeted agents. Uh, Non-covalent BTK inhibitors such as pirtabrutinib are also being combined with veneta clax in clinical trials as well. Uh, given um, the toxicity profile of veneta clax, which uh, is uh, mostly associated with uh, occasional side opinions, maybe infections, which we often see with most drugs in CLL, um, uh, but also tumor lysis syndrome early on if you start with Veneraclax, I do think it's a great partner uh, given non-overlapping toxicities with many other drugs uh, that we use. And of course, it has a role in combination with CD20 antibodies, uh, which is a pretty big role for frontline therapy of CLL and relapsed CLL.